And now, my friends, it's lab time. It's just a jump to the left. All right. Please try to perform these steps in your lab environment. First, go to your Nessus web interface. Create a new scan policy. See and modify the options as much as you can. Choose destinations. Try to give a text file as the destination hosts list. Start the scan and analyze the results. So you've made it to the end of the course. Um, but before you run out testing every single network you can find, let's remember what we learned in this course. Firstly, we learned how to prepare the lab environment, how to download and set up Metasploitable 2 to compromise. Scan types, passive scans and active scans. Perform some passive scans using Wireshark and ARP tables. The fundamentals of the TCP IP family with the basics of TCP and UDP protocols. Active scan in detail using Nmap. The most important Nmap scan types. No port scan, also known as, say it with me, ping scan. SYN scan, TCP scan and UDP scan. Comparison of the SYN scan and the TCP scan. What about the details of port scanning? We also learned about the service and the version detection and why that's important. And how to detect the operating system of a host. The details of input and output management in Nmap. Nmap scripting engine, or NSE, performing script scans. Some important scripts. And timing in Nmap scans. We also learned about bypassing IDS and IPS devices. And remember some of the other Nmap scans? Null scan, fin scan, Christmas scan, ax scan, idle scan. We also went into the definition of vulnerability. And then scanning vulnerabilities with Nessus. We went over how to download, install, and run Nessus on Kali and how to perform a Nessus vulnerability scan and export the result reports. And that about does it for me. I really hope you enjoy the course, and I hope to see you in another cybersecurity course. Till then, stay safe, my friends.